Now to the latest on Andrew Holland's death. The inmate who died while in custody at the San Luis Obispo County Jail in January of last year. The family held a press conference today, days before the election, saying certain policies were not followed leading to Andrew's death. Diagnosed with schizophrenia, the sheriff has said Holland was suffering a psychotic episode and was placed in a restraint chair to keep him from harming himself. He was left in that chair for 46 hours and died from a blood clot. Karina Corral was at that press conference today. She joins us in the studio with more. Karina? Well, the Holland family penned an open letter to Sheriff Parkinson demanding certain questions be answered so voters can make an informed decision before heading to the polls. KSBY News has acquired from a source the jail cell video, which the county has refused to make public. I've poured through the 46 hours, and here's what I found. KSBY News has obtained video showing inmate Andrew Holland's last 46 hours before dying while in custody. On Thursday, just five days before the election, the Holland family says certain policies were not followed, leading to Andrew's death. Andrew died of a pulmonary embolism that was a product of deep vein thrombosis, a, a blood clot growing in his leg. According to the Sheriff's Department's restraint policy in effect at the time of Holland's death, correctional deputies were supposed to perform a range of motion exercises on each limb every two hours for 10 minutes to prevent blood clots. Our investigation shows none of the range of motion exercises were performed for an entire 10 minutes. The longest duration was seven and a half minutes, the shortest one minute and 10 seconds. And during a 24 hour period, the longest duration was two minutes and 10 seconds. There were also two instances when three hours had lapsed in between exercises. He was also not allowed to use the restroom every two hours per policy. It baffles me to this day that that still the sheriff goes out and and says that they have they have absolutely he has said unequivocally that they followed all policies. The family also calls into question why Andrew was restrained for so long after he was medicated. During a live sheriff's debate on KSBY, Parkinson said he had no knowledge of an injection. 90 minutes after being restrained, the video appears to show a nurse holding a needle and injecting Andrew with what medical logs show is a sedative. Sheriff Parkinson declined our request for an interview but did release a statement reading, we respectfully disagree with the Holland family's allegations and stand by our previous statements and responses. An FBI investigation is underway into Holland's death. The sheriff maintains it was county mental health decision to keep Holland restrained and that his office will be vindicated. The county settled with the Holland family for $5 million for medical malpractice. We should also note that the video does not have any audio, so it's hard to tell exactly why those range of motion exercises did not last as long as they should have. Richard, back to you. All right, thank you. You can watch today's press conference and our past exclusive interview with Sheriff Parkinson online. Just head to KSBY.com and click on this story. We have an update now to a fatal crash in the